perform design school by WP algorithm. In this video, I'll show you how to set your global font styles using the brand new Elementor themes system, right? Elementor introduced design system in version 3.x, x being any number. Now, how do you do it? It's quite simple. You either upload your custom fonts using the custom fonts option in the back end, or you can simply go to tools, integrations, and use Adobe fonts. I've discussed this while showing you how to build your first page, right? I think it's in settings. So you can go to integrations and you can put in your Adobe fonts type kit ID, right? So that's one thing. Now, once you do that, <coughs> open up any page, post or a template in Elementor. Now, what I'm going to do is to drag in heading widget and I'm going to duplicate it five times. You'll understand why. In this video, we'll basically see how to set font sizes, how to set font family itself and how to do all that using Elementor's brand new design system. So you can find that under site settings. Okay. So I'll click on this heading widget. It will be H2. I'll click on this. It will be H3. I'll click on this and it will be H4. Click on this H5. At the moment, they may be inheriting the styles from your theme, but don't worry. We'll change all of those and I'll duplicate it one more time and I'll set the HTML tag from H6 to P, meaning paragraph or body text, okay? So we need to set properties for all of these. Also, I'll change the background from a blank background to a white one. You can see it clearly. I'll just click on it. I'll change the height to fit the screen. Now you can see all these clearly. So this is our font stack. So H, H2, H1 will always be your site title. Should be relative to our body text, which is 18 pixels, right? So we set body text to 18 pixels on desktop and uh, tablet and on mobile devices, we set it to 16 pixels, right? You can click that here or you can change it from here, responsive mode. We're also making the fonts responsive so that the scale up on various devices to serve the optimum size on each of the devices. Color, I'll just go with accent color for H6. You can see H6 here, this highlighted color, not a problem. Or you can choose the text color, but you should differentiate between each of the font stack. So I'll go with the accent color and click on typography. And the heading should be six caps, right? The font family is six caps. I'll select six caps. And what about the size, right? Now the size is 1.25 M. You can set it in M, not a problem, but M is a bit relative. If you want the font size to always stay constant, you have to set it in REM. REM is basically multiplication of the base font size, which is 18 pixels. So here the number is 1.25M. I'll copy this, go to rem, I'll paste it and it's 1.25. And the weight, let's set a lighter weight to it. You can also change the letter spacing, right? Based on your requirement. So that's H6. Now let's go to H5 which is this 1.563 M. We'll change it to REM. So I'll go to H5, I'll just click on this. You can also put it in pixels and adjust it per device, but doing it in REMs will automatically scale it because REM is basically the multiplication of base font size. So if it's 16 pixels, it will be multiplied by 16 pixels. If it's 18 pixels, the value will be multiplied by 18 pixels. And we are calculating the rem value as 1.563 so this font size will essentially be 1.563 into whatever is the base size on desktop it's 18 and on mobile it's 16 so it will automatically calculate it we don't have to do anything and it's quite easy to change the base font size and your whole font stack is affected and made responsive automatically color again 
let's go with the text color itself and the font should again be six caps let's also add a spacing let's go with its four and you can also distinguish between font sizes font weights font families again let's set the same font weight that we set for this so 400 would do for this as well since h5 and h6 are differing in weight at least there should be one distinguishable property this is also good for seo necessary for seo not actually good okay so i just made a small adjustment in our font family for headings i'm picking playfair display again i found the same combination on canva you can also play with font it's not a bad thing i think six caps was not really readable so i changed it from playfair display to and I'll change the body font family to railway. I'll just click on typography, change this. And here it is, right? It's quite easy changing body text font family. Also, H6, I've changed it to Playfair Display. H5, I've changed it to Playfair Display. But the font size will essentially be the same, which is 1.563. And once you set it for desktop, the same ratio will also be applied for tablet and mobile. And based on the base font size which is 18 pixels for desktop and tablet and 16 for mobile these fonts will be automatically calculated which is quite simple so you don't have to always set the absolute values in numbers now let's go with h4 we have two distinguishable properties actually many distinguishable properties between h5 and h3 the colors are different the size is different size will always be different again for this Let's go with Playfair display and size. So we're done with this. This is the next size. I'll copy this. Again, I'll go to rem. I'll explain the di difference between rems and ems in another video. But rems is essentially the multiplication of base font size. That's all you have to remember. Ems is a bit relative. Even if you change the font of font size of the section this will be basically the multiplication or ratio of that number so anyway just remember rem is basically the multiplication of the base font size so this many times 18 pixels will be the font size for this so it's 1.953 weight let's go with 500 right and transform let's go with capitalize Transform is basically how your text will be shown. I think this this can be normal and also this can be normal. If it's capital is all the letters will be made capitals and stuff, but we'll just pick normal. I'll only pick capitalize for H2 and H3, I guess. And for H4, I think I'll pick the secondary color or maybe I'll pick the text color. Font weight is 500 pixels. That's great. We have set the font size, right? And it's 1.953. It's basically a multiplication number. And H3, again, we're done with H4. Now H3 is 2.44M. We just need to copy the number. I'll go to typography, change the font family to Playfair. And I'll just click on rem paste the ratio and paste the number as well. Now let's change the font weight to maybe 700 if it supports it. Not all fonts support all weights. So you have to be careful about that. And the transform, I'll just capitalize all of them. That would be better. Or I'll just make uppercase for all of them. H3, I think that would be better for H3 and H2. Color, I'll just leave it as is. And for H2, I'll change the color to our primary color. H2s are not pretty much used. And again, let's change the typography to Playfair display. Font size, again, we need to copy this font size for H2. Go back, go to rem.
so that's h2's font size and color is this and the font is that h1 like i said it's for title so you don't have to really worry much about it and maybe this can be the secondary color and the hover color can be the primary color that's how elementor does it but you can do it the way you want so again body text is railway and 18 pixels for tablet and desktop and for mobile 16 pixels for body text as you can see when i scale the devices from mobile to tablet the font sizes are automatically adjusted right for desktop and tablet the sizes will be the same but for mobile they'll be a bit different because we so i just went to lipsum.com copied some lorem ipsum text into my body text and you can see the body text in action now also for h2 i need to set the font weight and i'll set the transform topper case the color is not exactly reflected but once you refresh the page it will be reflected and the ratio is 3.052 which is what we see here right you don't have to necessarily enter it in pixels now i'm going to do something else i'm going to change the body text size for desktop to 20 so i'll just make it 20 it's more readable also let's set this to 1.5 I'll set the line height to 1.5. Let's keep that letter spacing. Paragraph spacing, you can adjust it or you can leave it at default, right? So this is the whole font stack. I'll update it. I'll just click on preview. So it's going to load a preview screen and you can see the font stack in action. So it also adds vertical rhythm to the website, right? So just by looking at the page, user knows that the first and foremost important thing is this one, which is H2. And next he knows that another important but less significant than H2 is H3 and so on. And by looking at this, he is clearly understanding that this is not a heading, but rather piece of text and that's body text. This is also good for your SEO because Google wants you to distinguish between different font sizes. So that's how you set font sizes, font weights, and also text transforms by, by differentiating between different H1s, H2, H3, H4, and so on till paragraph. You're clearly telling Google which content is most important or which content is body text and which content is just a heading. So Google knows how to scan your website and understand that. So it's really important for SEO as well. Also adding branding color is also really neat because it also visually distinguishes between your fonts and also adds a bit of personality. Now you can use your as many branding colors for different headings as you want, but always color is all about balance. It's better used. The lesser the color you use, the better it is. Now I change the body text of desktop to 20 and the tablet is 18 and for mobile it's simple. Now let's say if we're going to change the font sizes, now this body text itself can be in M's or rems and if you set it in M's or rems it will get the preference from browser's settings so whatever font size is set in there that value will be put here so let's say if user sets his default font size to 30 pixels if you set it to one rem it will be 30 pixels and based on this the whole font stack is calculated based on the ratio that we entered right so that root value will then be multiplied with this and so on so 1.25 times whatever the value here if it's 30 pixels that that's how it's multiplied i'll update this now the preview is updated as well right now i'll simply right click and inspect this h2 and i'll just click on this and now the font size is at 45.78 pixels right because it's of desktop size screen let's scale it down a bit and you can see that it's at 41.75 pixels so based on the screen size since we just set the body font size based on that body text it's getting the body text of each device and then multiplying the whole font stack and the whole font stack is made responsive and progressive just by using the body text size right you can scroll 
or hover over this and it's 16 pixels. Now if I make it a tablet sized device, this would be 18 pixels, right? As you can see here. And if it's a desktop size window or device, it's 20 pixels. I can simply hover over this and I can simply find it out. It's still at 18 pixels because this window is at tablet breakpoint typically. If I make it bigger, it would be 20 pixels. It's still at 18 pixels. So if I stretch my window to a typical tablet breakpoint, it would be more than 20 pixels. And based on this value, this whole font stack is calculated. We'll be discussing about M's, REMs and all that in another video. Stay tuned for that. This video is a part of Elementor Basics. This is also called Vertical Rhythm. Also, keep the number of fonts to two, one for your headings and special text and one for your body text. Body text should be readable. Also, the font weight should be clearly understandable, right? It shouldn't be too light so that the eye cannot read the characters because also when you inspect the element, Google shows the contrast in the accessibility tab. You can see that here. It shows that contrast is good, right? And for this, it's showing the contrast is not really good. So you can change this value. You can see the orange icon over here next to contrast. So you can change maybe H6 properties. You can add a bit of font weight, right? Don't change the font size, just add font weight because font size is the basic thing that distinguishes all these fonts or all these headings. Also the headings from paragraph text. So based on that, use the type scale, use lorem ipsum for your dummy text. Also use canva.com's Playfair recommendations, right? Font combination recommendations. If you want, you can use Adobe fonts for your headings and for your body text. You can use Roboto for your body text and so on. So this is how you set global font styles, font sizes, font weights in Elementor 3.x, x being any number. That's it for now. Catch you in the next one. Check out Elementor Basics playlist to see more of this. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.